morning. Welcome back. 540 It's now your time. Frank Nelson's question brings up a good point when driving through a school zone. When the schools are out on a holiday and the school zone lights are flashing, do we still have to drive 20 miles per hour? This is the best advice that I can give any motorist. When you see those flashing lights, it's best practice to adhere. Because when you're used to doing something, when it becomes a repetition, that hey, uh, it's easy to do. Every time you see those flashing lights, you slow down and adhere. Uh, but generally, uh, there are no police officers or, or troopers or deputies patrolling those school zones at 11 at night or on Christmas morning. So that means if Sergeant Woodard sees you driving 30 miles per hour instead of 20 in a school zone on Thanksgiving, no, he won't be writing you a ticket. During the height of the pandemic, we asked Sergeant Woodard about speeding in school zones when kids were mostly learning from home. During regular school hours, not on a, not on a holiday, rather, officers will be on site monitoring school zones even if there aren't students inside a school building. This also includes summer school. Also, some school signage you, you see may not have the added feature of flashing lights, but that doesn't mean that you can ignore the alert to slow down. The fine for speeding in a school zone in Texas is $200 for speeding up to five miles per hour above the posted speed limit and well over $300 if speeding is more than 30 miles per hour. The ticket for texting in a school zone is $200 where signs are posted. If you would like me to answer your traffic questions, send me your traffic video. Uh, just visit my Facebook page, KPRC2 Anavid Reyes. And hey, don't forget to sign up for my newsletter. This week I'll be giving you a heads up on a major 288 closure happening in Iowa Colony. Just go to clicktheHouston.com slash newsletters to sign up. Owen and Lisa. All right. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, Anna Veed.